When it comes to infantry fighting vehicles, there are many options to choose from. The potential supply of them to Bradley to Ukraine prompts a comparison with the Russian BMP-3. Both are modern infantry fighting vehicles IFS known for their exceptional levels of protection, mobility, and passenger capacity. A decent comparison would be worthwhile to know which vehicle would prove more effective in the war zone. Let's take a closer look at both vehicles' dimensions side by side. The BMP-3 is an upgraded IFV that has incorporated feedback from global deployment of the BMP-3 which was first developed in the early 1980s. The BMP-3 boasts advanced firepower, mobility, and protection, making it one of the best IFs in the world. However, the unit cost of the BMP-3 is not specified. In contrast, the Bradley IFV was introduced to the U.S. Army in 1981 and has undergone significant upgrades with the M204 being issued to the first operational unit in 2022. The M2 Bradley costs around $3 million per unit. But which one is better? The BMP-3 and M2 Bradley have different dimensions, with the BMP-3 being longer and narrower than the M2 Bradley. The BMP-3 has a length of 23.4 feet and a width of 10.49 feet while the M2 Bradley measures 21.48 feet in length and 11.81 feet in width. In terms of height, the BMP-3 is shorter than the M2 Bradley, with a height of 7.87 feet compared to the M2 Bradley's height of 9.77 feet. The BMP-3 weighs 18.7 tons while the M2 Bradley weighs 27.6 tons. The BMP-3 can accommodate three crew members and sudden passengers, whereas the M2 Bradley has space for three crew members and six passengers. In terms of combat experience, firepower, and protection, the BMP-3's primary weapon is a 100mm to a 70 semi-automatic rifle gun capable of causing fatal damage to vehicles like the Bradley and other vehicles lacking an active protection system. The BMP-3 has a back show you combat module, including a 30mm to a 72 automatic gun stabilized in two axes, capable of firing three or six 3U or eight rounds. The ammunition load for the gun is 500 armor-piercing or high-explosive fragmentation rounds, with the rate of fire of over 300 rounds per minute. The BMP-3 also features a coaxial machine gun, a sudden 62mm picky, and two ball machine guns, both of which are 7.62mm, the vehicle is protected by a Shtora 1 protection system and an explosive reactive armor kit that protects it from any tank guided missiles and any tank hollow charge projectiles. M2 Bradley is fitted with a 25mm dual fed Bushmaster chain gun that fires sub caliber and 919 armor piercing and stabilized discarding sabo rounds containing a depleted uranium core. The gun is stabilized in two planes and can rotate at a speed of up to 60 degrees per second, firing 900 rounds. The 25mm M242 cannon can hit the BMP-1 and 2 from any distance and project 10 subcaliber projectiles with depleted uranium cores, which can penetrate over 70mm of homogeneous armor. The M2 Bradley provides greater protection than other IFs, thanks to its advanced armor system. While both vehicles are highly capable, the BMP-3 has superior firepower, while the M2 Bradley provides better protection. 
Which one is more effective in the war zone depends on the specific needs of the mission. So, which one is better, the M2 Bradley or the BMP3? The answer is, it depends. Each vehicle has its strengths and weaknesses, and the best one for a particular army depends on their specific needs and requirements. Ultimately, the decision on which IFV to choose for Ukraine will depend on a variety of factors, including cost, combat experience, and overall mission objectives. But one thing is for sure. Both the M2 Bradley and the BMP3 are formidable infantry fighting vehicles that have earned their place on the modern battlefield. Also, which infantry combat vehicle would you choose? Don't forget to mention it in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you found this content informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to Sensational Tech Channel for more exciting content on technology, engineering, and science. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.